guys, welcome to my bathroom in California. I am getting ready to go into Dr. Salt's office this morning. I'm having my breast augmentation done again on April 1st. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, April Fool's is not a good day to have surgery, <laughs> okay? Whatever, I uh, only, I had two dates to pick from, so this is it. I'm trying to get my hair together because it is a disaster. I have the thinnest hair. This is extension, so like whenever I sleep, this is just so kinked up that I basically have to just shower and start all over, but I don't have time for that this morning. So if you're sitting there wondering why the hell I'm getting a boob job done again when I just had it done, I will link the video that you'll need to watch in the description box below if you wanna follow along this journey. Um, I also have a video uh, well, that same video actually has a lot of really, really good information and I'm not just trying to like get you to watch my video. I really wish that I would have watched a video similar to the one that I made before I went and got my boobs done because if I had, I might have been able to avoid this entire situation. So anyways, if you're, you know, thinking about getting a boob job, I highly recommend watching that video. And it sounds like, you know, I was reading the comments um, and it sounds like a lot of you did get a lot out of that video. So I'm really, really happy to hear that. It's like literally all I wanted. I need so much dry shampoo right now, which is crazy because I literally just washed my hair the other day. Oh, there's hair in my mouth. I'm gonna go in and get my blood drawn today. And my surgery is on April 1st. And hopefully everything goes according to plan. And I have finally the boobs that I have been wanting my entire life after this. So let's see, I just wanna make sure, I'm gonna use some heat spray um, because I'm not trying to fry my hair off. I think I'm getting like pictures done today and um, blood draw and I'm actually getting my blood drawn again, like in a week for my testosterone stuff. <coughs> oh gosh, I think I just inhaled some, uh, some uh, freaking, whatchamacallit. I like don't have time to be doing this right now, but I don't, I can't like go out looking like a crazy person with bad hair. I was looking at like my scars the other day and I have a feeling my tattoo at this point is going to be literally on the underside of my tit because I'm actually gonna go a little bit bigger. I went bigger than I originally planned on going. I did 380 cc's last time and I was about a full B, small B to start with. So that brought me up to about a C. And honestly, I, I'm, I'm five nine. Five, eight and a half to be precise, but, and I'm curvy and I've got a butt and I just feel like I could really handle a little bit more going on there. And I've been told that by some other people too. So you and my dad, when I got done, like, and they were still swollen, I went to the river like two days later and he's like, you look the same. And I was like, honestly, yeah, they're not that big, huh? And <laughs> like, not that I wanted like giant, like porn star boobs or anything. Yeah, so I'm gonna get a little bit bigger. I don't know how much bigger. We're gonna try and figure that out. Probably the day of surgery. I think I'll see Dr. Saltz like before I go into surgery. I'm not looking forward to being put under again and waking up, like that whole process isn't fun. So I'm kind of not excited for that. I don't think anyone would be. I'm so hungry, I need to eat breakfast. I don't think I'm gonna have time to eat breakfast before I go though. Anyways, I will hit you guys up later. This is probably pretty boring and a very unflattering angle at that. So oh, look at that perfect curl though, look at it. Just look at it. Oh wait, that's not it. Hang on. Oh, look how perfect that little fucking curl is. Love it. It is the morning of surgery. This lighting is really, looks really good. I'm not supposed to be eating anything this morning, but I'm freaking hungry. My surgery is not till 1 p.m. I've already had two espressos. I'm not supposed to drink any water at all, but I needed to have espresso. <laughs> what you doing? You playing June's Journey? No, we're going to old trucks. Old trucks? <laughs> 
That one guy on Facebook still never responded. Um, it's freezing here right now. Freezing? Feel that. It's nice out. It's just not as hot as it's been. <laughs> There's a morning chill. Um, I woke up this morning and there was eyelash extensions stuck to extensions. I mean, eyelashes stuck to my hair and now there's all this glue in it. I woke up this morning thinking that I had a spider in my hair, which, you know, wouldn't be out of the ordinary. Did you get any more nasty spiders on you yesterday? You were down there? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, here Leo comes with the ball. Oh, where's it at? This side. Nice. For eight months. Tell him we'll take it for thirty-five hundred. <laughs> Does that taste good? It's really fun to watch you eat while I'm starving. <laughs> I love you. I was just real this morning. Um, too sexy for my robe. I put this one on. And literally my ass cheeks were hanging out and she's like, let me get you a longer rope. <laughs> I don't care if you don't care. Okay, we are running a little bit behind, so it's like two o'clock and I'm freaking starving, but I finally just got in here and got my little robe on. Dr. Salt is gonna come in, mark me up, and then I'm gonna go into the operating room, which is probably the scariest part of the whole thing, and get hooked up to an IV and pass out and wake up in the recovery room, so. I'm like feeling a little nauseous because I took a pill on an empty stomach like two hours ago. I like need food. So I'm nervous and hungry and so I'm a little like... Also I wanted to say that I think we decided to go 605 cc's. She was going to have me choose between like 560 or 580 and 605. I did 380 cc's before so I think I'm going to go 605 because I felt like I should have gone bigger. I mean I was going to do 360 last time I ended up doing 380 and now I'm like since they're gonna sit lower and look a little more natural, she said I'll lose some of like the mass anyway, so I think I'm gonna do 605. Wish me luck. See you guys soon. but we're eating some sushi in Encinitas because I'm freaking starving. Um, I'm sore, but I don't want to take any of those crazy meds, so I'm gonna stick with the ibuprofen that they gave me and eat some food because it is 5.40 and I haven't had anything to eat since last night at dinner and I am fucking starving, so. Thanks for taking care of me. Godly. Let's shave your mustache off today. I'm ready for it. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> oh, good morning. Mm. I wore my bra over my shirt. Come here. Come here, little one. Hi. <laughs> oh, I slept on this wedge pillow last night. Um... This is like better. Okay, let's not stand on them. This is better than my last breast augmentation. Like this is way less painful. I think it's because they didn't have to like cut the muscle and everything. Like I was able to pretty much sleep super well last night. Like I didn't like, I think, I don't think I woke up like once. Like I slept like a log. I just took ibuprofen last night, gabapentin, and one other thing, one is like a nerve blocker, uh, uh, ibuprofen for pain or whatever, and then I forgot what the other one was, but I think that might be the last of the medicine that I take, period. I just like would prefer to keep less of it out of my, like take as little as possible, basically. I think I'm also not gonna wear this bra during the day because as I found out with my last breast augmentation, my body hangs on to implants, I don't know if it was just because they were textured or what, but I'm gonna experiment. Oh, nice. 
I'm gonna experiment. I think I'm gonna just not have this bra on during the day and just put it on at night. I also have another bathing suit top that pulls them together and ties in the middle. So I might wear that too because I'm trying to keep get this cleavage going where they don't heal too far out this way. So I don't know how much control I really have over that, honestly, but that's what I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna get up right now. I need some breakfast. Wake up. Oh. Mm, but yeah, pain's not too bad actually. Okay, this is day two after surgery. We'll have their surgery, sur surgery, <laughs> surgery. That was my treadmill. Thursday, got out of surgery, went and had sushi. Friday was yesterday. It's Saturday. And Nick is at work, unfortunately. He had to go to work Friday, and he's gonna be at work, while well, he was at work Friday, he's gonna be at work today and tomorrow, so he's not off till Monday. I just did a little bit of cardio. I didn't take any medicine last night at all. I have like ibuprofen and gabapentin. Um, I didn't get any of the Percocet stuff. I was like, I don't want that. I think I told you guys that, but last night was a little rougher sleeping because I didn't take an ibuprofen. I didn't take anything yesterday at all. My uh, nipples are really sore and sensitive. I hope that doesn't mean that they're going to be even more sensitive than they were after my last boob job because, oh my goodness, my nipples ever since my last boob job almost a year ago have been more sensitive than they ever have been before. And it kind of sucks because like, I don't even want Nick to touch them. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we're in the middle of our remodel here. If you didn't know, that's why it kind of looks like that back there. But um, yeah, I just did a bit of cardio, did an hour of like really slow cardio, basically watching Married at First Sight, one of my favorite shows. I have a really good look going on here. I've got this on over my shirt. I'm kind of not wearing this bra during the day because as we saw with the last implants, my body really hung on to them. I mean, they were textured, so I kind of figured I would just kind of not wear the bra during the days and wear when they started to kind of drop and fluff where I wanted them, I would start wearing it a little bit more, but while still wearing it at Sorry, night. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Bitch, why are you listening to me? That is the journey thus far. I can't get in the water for eight weeks, which is cutting it real close with river season here. So yeah, I will check in with you guys later down the road, um, make another video about the healing process and how everything is going. And yeah, um, I'm also gonna have a video coming out where I tried on some tops before the boob job, the second before the second boob job, and then after and do like a side-by-side -side comparison to see if we can see any difference. So that will be coming out probably in a few months because I need to wait until these are kind of dropping a bit more. As far as I know, smooth implants can take up to a year to kind of settle into where they're gonna be. So that being said, thanks for watching guys. And thank you so much for all of your well wishes and all your DMs and comments. I really, really appreciate them and um, Thank you for thinking of me. I really appreciate it. So the next few days are gonna be a little rough here by myself, but my stepmom came over and cooked me dinner last night and cooked me another dish for the next few days. Uh, not the most healthy things, but some of my favorite things. <laughs> so uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.